nearly 50 former winners of the Mississippi America pageant are calling on its chief executive and other top leaders to resign after a report that he sent and received emails that were disrespectful and misogynistic. The emails, published by HuffPost on Thursday, show that Sam Haskell, the chief executive of the Mississippi America organization, had attacked and derided former pageant winners using derogatory language, with support, in some cases, from other members of the organization. In one of the emails, Mr. Haskell expressed amusement when an employee used a vulgar reference to female genitalia to describe the former pageant winners. In the letter, reported by HuffPost on Friday, 49 former pageant winners said the behavior of Mr. Haskell and several other top leaders was despicable and called for their resignation. We stand firmly against harassment, bullying and shaming especially of women through the use of derogatory terms meant to belittle and demean, the pageant winners wrote. Late Friday, the organization announced that its board of directors had suspended Mr. Haskell and would conduct an investigation, reaffirming that it is committed to the education and empowerment of young women. The letter's signatories include winners of pageants from 1948 to 2017. The pageant itself dates to 1921. The Mississippi America organization did not respond to a request for comment. The others named in the letter include the president of the organization, Josh Randall, and two members of its board, Tammy Haddad and Lynn Widener. M.S. Haddad resigned Friday fulfilling an intention announced internally earlier this year, she said. The emails were shared several months ago with Dick Clark Productions, which produces numerous awards shows, including the Golden Globes, and which ultimately severed ties with the Mississippi America organization, for which it had reportedly been a key broadcast partner. We were appalled by their unacceptable content and insisted, in the strongest possible terms, that the Mississippi America Organization Board of Directors conduct a comprehensive investigation and take appropriate action to address the situation, the production company said in a statement provided to the New York Times on Friday. Shortly thereafter, we resigned our board positions and notified Mao that we were terminating our relationship with them. The emails indicate that Mr. Haskell had privately shamed one former pageant winner, Mallory Hagen over her weight and sex life and had engaged in a campaign to fight what he perceived as her attacks, according to HuffPost. He had derided M.S. Hagen, who was named Mississippi America in 2013, as a piece of trash to one Mississippi America organization employee, Brent Adams, who spoke to HuffPost. M.R. Adams said that he was romantically involved with M.S. Hagen at the time and that M.R. Haskell had instead wanted him to date Mr. Haskell's daughter. Other emails cited by HuffPost showed that Mr. Haskell had laughed when an employee suggested that a former pageant winner should be dead and appeared to express delight at the idea of needling yet another pageant winner, Gretchen Carlson, the journalist and author. The two board members, Ms.